Well, despite today's technology revolution, the age-old craft of puppetry is making a comeback. Nick Way went behind the scenes in Perth to see who's pulling the strings this holiday season. A toe-tapping crocodile with a taste for feather boas. She's one of the faces of a puppetry phenomenon. But Miss Lily, how long did it take to get to know Jacob? Oh, we're still getting to know each other. And she's a bit of a diva. Um, and, uh, yeah, but she likes to show her hosts a good time. So, yeah, she's, she's quite delightful. While Miss Lily tangos in Fremantle this week, she and her marsupial mates are symbolic of what some see as the search for soul in the digital age. Well, I feel like I could do this is a lot of imagination and that's the the world of puppetry and visual theatre for me is very alive. Often you won't pay any attention to us at all because because of the strength of, um, of that transference of energy into the object. The reptile tale marks 20 years for director Michael Barlow with WA's Spare Parts Puppet Theatre. Two rich decades rubbing shoulders with the likes of writer Tim Winton and Oscar winner Sean Tan. It's like an entry point into your imagination. Miss Lily's trying to teach me to tango, but we might just have to settle for the crocodile rock. It's all part of the mystery that makes puppetry as magical now as it was in the days of Punch and Judy make us wonder, make us feel like a kid again and puppetry does that I think better than better than anything. Would you like to go see Lady Gaga? Yes! <laughs> Proving modern day puppets may not be marionettes but they can still pull the heartstrings. Nick Way, 10 News. Nick Way and the toe-tapping crocodile just brilliant.